does Ukraine have biological weapons? The answer was a very carefully phrased, Ukraine has biological research facilities, after which Senator Rubio has himself gave her the exit clause by putting the blame on Russia, potentially doing a false flag operation in the future. Ms. Parthmore, clearly the American government is not being able to deny the fact that Ukraine has biological research facilities which can possibly be used in biological warfare as well. That's quite clear. I'd like your response, please. Yeah, let me be absolutely clear um, in very direct language. We do not believe that the Ukrainians have biological weapons programs. They have been a champion for nonproliferation since they became an independent nation. I absolutely do not believe that there are any biological weapons activities that have been conducted at any of these laboratories uh, as assisted by the United States or by the Ukrainians. What are biolabs? What are the biolabs which are there in, yeah. um, in Ukraine? Can you tell us more about what these biolabs are? Absolutely. Uh, so one of the original impetuses for setting up these laboratories in the former Soviet Union was because of the, the Soviet biological weapons program. They had huge industrial scale biological weapons facilities in places like Kazakhstan. And we've been concerned uh, over, the, over the years, including because they established and expanded these programs after signing the biological weapons program. We've been very concerned that Russia may still have a biological weapons program. But that's not the primary purpose. That's one no, driver why, of setting no, up no, these no, laboratories. But why, why, but what they, are the biolabs? What you have been, uh, Ms. Parthmore, Ms. Parthmore, what are the biolabs? There are 16 of them. 16 of yeah, them. Yeah, so they... On, Absolutely. America, they on just, Ukrainian soil, am I correct? Correct. Just as uh, labs around India what do they conduct, conduct research for public health purposes, they conduct public health research, similar to labs all around the world that do public health research. Now that's very generic. Can they you be more specific than pathogen? that? Can you be Absolutely. more specific so, than that? What is? What, yeah, what do they study? Absolutely. Uh, they study influenzas and other pathogens that have the risk of affecting humans and animals and livestock and agriculture. They essentially serve as an early warning system and, and does for this detecting study, disease outbreaks. Does this, does, this, does, this study, does this study involve developing pathogens as well? No. Then how, how do you These know what pathogens health. there are? And why is there such panic? What are the pathogens which, which, as it has been said out here, that if these pathogens, if these specific pathogens get away, then they can be very dangerous, which means inside those bio labs in Ukraine, there are some dangerous pathogens. And all of this is happening under the DTRA, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, right? And uh, the DTRA actually got millions for low visibility chemical and biological search that would meet, quote unquote, specific combatant command requirements, which means they were being used for a military purpose, which means therefore, and I am, I am quoting information that has come from Pentagon, that means millions have gone into the development of low visibility chemical and biological research that will meet specific combatant command requirements, which means they're being used for the US military. There's work that's occurring for defensive purposes as well as public health purposes. The U.S. Department of Defense has more than a hundred. No, but they're being used for military purposes. See, that diseases. is very different, uh, Miss Parthmore. Miss Parthmore, I think I think you need to explain this because you just tried to tell me some time back, in fact, about I'm a minute back, that this it. was for public health. Whereas I have come to you and I have I have just confronted you and said that there has been increased funding for the Nimble Elder Program of the Defense Threat Research Agency, which is driven by quote unquote classified Department of Defense guidance. And this is aimed with, uh, with low visibility, low visibility, which means the world should not know chemical and biological research for military purposes. But you just said public health. This doesn't sound like public health to me at all. What are you doing in it's Ukraine, Ms. Ms. Parthmore? Would you, would you care to clarify, please? Because you have used biological weapons and chemical weapons in the past. We're getting very concerned, please. Can you tell us what exactly is going on in the biolabs in Ukraine? The United States ceased to have biological and chemical weapons programs after signing on to the Biological Weapons Convention and the please Chemical wait. Weapons Convention. 
Good this point. work is defensive and for public health purposes, uh, as I've tried to explain. Uh, no, but for military work, use? Uh, but for military use? But for military there's use? No offense, there, but is there's it for no military offensive use? Offensive military. There is no offense. The military includes humans no, that, that is, can that be you're infected telling me it's by not offensive, diseases. but yes, for military use.